What's going on everybody? Kyle here. This is Soft Wash TV. I hope everybody's having a great week. It is a Monday morning right here. Just closed up the shop and we got the workhorse pulled out here. Medusa got three good sized houses today. We're going to go out here and do some house washes. But the topic of today's video is surfactant. Do you need it? What is it? How much does it cost? Which one do I recommend? Let's talk about surfactant and why it's important for pressure washing and soft washing. Let's dive into it. What's up everybody? Before we continue, just a friendly reminder, make sure you check out Softwash TV Pro, the exterior cleaning industry's answer to the need for quality pressure washing and soft washing training. Not only will you learn about safety, but we will teach you how to wash. Learn from a pro the ins and outs of house washing, concrete washing, and low pressure roof cleaning. We teach wash techniques and preventative measures for property protection. Softwash TV Pro will educate you about industry equipment and all of the chemicals used during daily operations. Learn marketing strategies from a successful pressure washing company and take advantage of numerous resources that will help you start and grow a pressure washing company. Thanks for watching. Now back to the video. All right, everybody, we're out here at job number one for the day. This is a standard house. I wash a lot of homes just like this every day. The norm is about three to five projects a day. As you can see, I've already went around and I've done some property protection to ensure that we don't have any water intrusion on any of the things associated with electronics. You can see right inside here, we got some dirt and debris on the vinyl. All in all, the front of the house isn't that bad. The back of the house, the north side, doesn't get as much sunlight, so it's definitely a lot dirtier back here. So let me walk you around and I'll show you what we got. All right, guys, so here we go. We have a lot of green on the back of this house, a lot of mildew, a lot of algae. Like I said before, this house doesn't get the best of sunlight in the back, so it's just a great environment for that organic growth to take take over. You can see it right up there. It's pretty bad. And on this side of the house, I think it's definitely the worst. So check this out right here. Yeah, we're definitely going to get them cleaned up. Nothing that a little bit of sh can't handle and we're also going to be using a surfactant today so let's deep dive into why i use surfactant and what purposes they serve for soft washing and pressure washing all right i'm ready to wash this house i want to show you guys what soap or what surfactant i'm using for this job this is eliminator this is hands down one of the best products on the market currently, and I highly recommend it. I get a lot of guys asking what I use, and if I'm not using Kamikaze, I use Eliminator. All right, if you don't currently know what surfactants are, let's deep dive into it. Surfactants are important for soft washing and pressure washing because they serve four main purposes. Firstly, they could act as a cover scent to mask the smell of sodium hypochlorite, which some customers may not like. A lot of customers, um, aren't aware that sodium hypochlorite is the industry standard. So if they smell bleach, they might start freaking out. So definitely make sure that you're upfront, you're transparent about your processes and what chemicals you use. Let them know that it is the in industry standard and the sodium hypochlorite is safe. But to avoid some probing questions and some drama, surfactants serve as a cover scent. It covers up that bleach smell. In this case right here, I'm using Eliminator which is a very pleasant lemon scent. So I'm very happy with this product right here. Even days and days after it being mixed in sodium hypochlorite, I could still smell the soap. It's a very quality surfactant with a great cover scent. Secondly, surfactants add thickness to the cleaning solution, helping it stick to the surface being clean and reducing chemical runoff. So if you're washing some steep roofs, and you definitely have that really hot mix of sodium hypochlorite, it's really important that you utilize a quality surfactant. Whenever you do, it's gonna slow the runoff, it's gonna stick that solution to the roof, and it's gonna allow that proper dwell time you need to neutralize any of the organics that you have on the roof. So that's the second thing, it sticks it to the surface you're cleaning, and that doesn't just go for roofs, but it also helps with sticking it to siding. You can see I'm washing the, the fascia boards right now, going up here. And it just allows this solution to stay on the house long enough to get that proper dwell time and clean it properly. Thirdly, guys, is surfactants contain wetting agents. And this keeps surfaces wetter for longer, reducing the likelihood of chemicals drying on siding or concrete. Concrete is really not a big deal. 
but especially when it comes to siding, you don't want your chemical solution after you apply it to the house, you don't want it drying up there. So let's say you don't have a big uh, gallon per minute machine and you don't have a lot of volume, it might take you a little bit longer to rinse or to apply your chemical. So this helps you with keeping the surface wetter longer. The last thing you want is that cleaning solution, oxidizing some vinyl siding or some hardy board or maybe having an adverse reaction. So that's where those wetting agents really come into play and work to your benefit. All right, guys, and the fourth reason why I use a surfactant whenever I'm doing house washing and roof washing is because there are cleaning agents that are inside of surfactants, and these cleaning properties really help whenever it comes to emulsifying everything that we're washing. So whether it's just dirt and debris or organics, those cleaning agents really help emulsify all of those dirty properties on the house, and it helps it wash away very easily. So whenever this happens, it breaks down the water tension and this aids in easy rinsing. Have you ever noticed that if you're washing a house and there's like a spider web, it's real stubborn. If you're not using any soap or anything, it, it moves down the house really, really slow. If you have a quality surfactant, it breaks the water tension and that spider web or any debris and stuff just really rinses quite e easily off of the house. That's because of the cleaning agents inside of the surfactant. All right, everybody, I'm gonna finish up this job. I don't have time to do a lot of filming, but I will go back and show you how dirty it was. We'll look at the footage again, just so you guys could see the difference in how dirty this house was whenever we first started and what the finished product was. Like I said before, this is a standard house. I do a lot of these. I'll probably do close to 600 homes this year and a lot of them are really dirty just like this washing dirty houses like this are my favorite because bam look at how clean this is instant gratification this is one of my favorite things about owning a pressure washing company is showing up to a dirty house and seeing instant results all right guys we're at job number two today i gotta be careful with this camera but this is a new construction house right here so no organics on the house. We're not worried about mildew and mold and algae. We're mainly just worried about if there's any red clay in the area, any dust, any debris, wood chips, stuff like that. So this is a post-construction cleanup, guys. So actually just got on with this builder. Uh, it's been a big initiative of mine this year to get on with a couple of builders. So I've been utilizing a lot of my email scripts and stuff like that to establish relationships with builders. So beautiful home back here brand new nobody's here that's one of the fun things about uh new construction is you don't have to deal with customers and stuff like that so gonna get them cleaned up you can see back here got some stuff on this patio we're gonna clean up we got to be very careful it's brand new concrete it hasn't cured so gonna get to washing i'll get back to the house before our next job i'm gonna have some lunch and we'll talk a little bit more about surfactant all right, everybody just got some food so i'm feeling a lot better i'm about to head out here to job number three but i want to wrap this video up talking about surfactant so let's just address one or two more things so i guys showed you this soap or this it's not really a soap it's not the same thing but this surfactant right here is eliminator i showed you that out in the field this is a soap that i highly recommend i want to throw out the disclaimer I'm in no way associated with this company, so you don't have to mention my name to get a discount or anything like that. I don't get paid by them, but it is a great product. And a lot of people come to my website because if you're, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but once upon a time, I sold one of the best soaps in the industry. I still use this soap, Kamikaze. It's my company's. I still use it on a personal level. I got a couple hundred gallons in the shop right now, but... We have stepped back from building equipment and selling chemicals and we're primarily focusing on washing because that's our bread and butter. That's what we stay really busy doing and also supporting our loyal people, loyal supporters of Softwash TV and Softwash TV Pro. So we're no longer doing equipment and chemicals. Get a lot of calls and questions about this. It's not for sale anymore, guys. I do supply it to a select few people in my area that have some pretty big outfits and they buy large quantities of that because they really like it and they know it's one of the best soaps in the industry. But for everybody else, I highly recommend this. 
comes in at a great price. I think it's about 25 bucks a gallon. Right here is pretty cost effective, works really good. And from the standpoint of being bleach stable, because a lot of soaps in the industry, you guys, are not truly bleach stable. That's the most important thing that you need to look out for. This one is very bleach stable. You could put this in sodium hypochlorite and days and days later still smell the cover scent and it still uh, soaps up and foams up really good. So this is the one that I recommend. A lot of the other soaps out there are one, they're private labeled where a lot of people are using the same soap from the same manufacturers. They're just slapping their name on it. This one right here, we actually actually own the rights to this, own the recipe to it. We did a lot of research and develop on development on this, but uh, this is a quality soap. So look out, be cognizant, make sure it's bleach stable. Um, one thing that I was running into a bunch was people were buying this soap, and this is what led me to take a step back from doing the chemicals. People would buy $100 worth of soap and then think they acted entitled and thought that I owed them something, guys. I put the instructions on the bottle, and basically people would use that and leverage their sale of 100 bucks as a means to contact me and, and like pick my brain and stuff like that. I don't want my brain picked about pressure washing. Just because you buy soap don't mean you get to call me and talk to me for 30 minutes. And it would always open up with, hey, I got a question about the soap. Basically asking what ratio to use when it's on the bottle. And then it would lead right into, it would segue into, well, help me scale my company. And, and what do you think about the gas roof pump and all this and that? So until down the road, when maybe we implement more people in the comp company and make it easier to sell a product, I'm not going to be taking calls from all of you guys about soap. So I've nixed that for now, just so I could focus on the bread and butter, which is washing. And that's what I truly like. And I also like making content and bringing value to our Softwash TV Pro members. So if you're not a member of that, check it out. Basically what it is, is online training. It's the best bang for the buck in the industry. It comes in at $49. You get my exterior cleaning 101 course. And then we also put all types of other videos on there, like ride along videos. You get to come out in the field with me use all the chemicals, wash houses, wash roofs, do that type of stuff. And then I also do stuff for business growth, stuff that actually moves the needle in your company and generates you more profits. So we talk about lead generation, digital marketing, print marketing strategies, email scripts to get jobs. You saw that we just went out to job number two. That was a new construction job with a builder that I got through email scripts. So the things do work. You just have to get off your ass and actually send the emails and do what I say do follow the blueprint and you guys will get jobs and stuff like that so that's that guys I hope you guys are doing well I'll bring more content later this week but I just wanted to talk about surfactants today you don't have to use a surfactant guys but the reason why I do are those four reasons we talked about in the video the four reasons or the four things that surfactants do that's why I use this product can you get away with washing houses without it absolutely but I always hear the excuse, man, that stuff's expensive. I'm not paying for it, guys. I pass that expense on to the customer, and you guys should be too. So make sure you're pricing accordingly and use the right products for the job. So like I said, Eliminator is a great product. Kamikaze is no longer for sale, so stop asking about it. I might bring it back in the future whenever I want to take over the industry again. So you guys take it easy. Peace.